In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to build a highly adjustable quarters coverage that is really effective against trips tight end. So we're gonna talk about defending three wide receivers to one side, trips reset, um, trips tight end type of formation. Uh, I think trips tight end is one of the glitchier formations that people don't really, I mean, I, I know people run it, but really the popular formation this year is bunch, but where trips is really valuable is the fact that it has this nub tight end on it, which allows you to just do a lot of stuff. You can run concepts to that tight end. He's unbumpable. Um, there's a lot of things you can do in this formation. So uh, we're going to teach you today, again, how to build a really adaptable coverage that is going to help you defend this formation, uh, which I would argue is one of the better formations in the game. So um, we're going to put our best. You want to put your best receiver, of course, if you're running this at the slot. Um, and then you want to have your user catch guy or your deep thread out there. And then your fast guy. I like to put him at number two, but you could put him at number one if you wanted to. But anyways. Um, and then instead of nickel 335 wide, um, I'm going to teach this out of nickel normal. But if we were using 335 wide, we would be using the cover four show two. The same concepts are going to apply from, from, normal, uh, from nickel normal to wide. I'm going to show you a little nuance in terms of how to run this out of nickel normal today and kind of walk you through something that I think is actually relatively interesting because nickel normal, what one of the benefits that nickel normal has over 335 wide is in my opinion, it has better pressure than 335 wide. You're gonna be able to get better pressure if you set it up properly. Secondly, you're gonna be able to, um, secondly, you're gonna be able to have all of the different match coverages, all of the different coverage concepts in Madden really uh, from this one formation. It gives you an additional mill linebacker that you could put in deep thirds, cross man, stuff like that, which is very helpful. And then lastly, the bigger weakness of the nickel normal, however, is the fact that you have four guys that are considered uh, linebackers or linemen, which I think is a major uh, drawback because you're not going to be able to get uh, as good of reactions and pass coverage from that one guy. And I think that's I think that's a significant problem uh, in this year's game. A fix for that could be coming out in 335 normal and audibly and into nickel normal, but let's just get into nickel normal. And I'm going to show you a couple things with this. So the, the coverage we want to base out of today is cover four quarters, but I want to teach you a principle uh, today out of – palms and cover six which are if you look across any nickel formation you're going to get some of those coverages um, cover six is really the one that I think is the most uh, necessary to cover because it is the only match coverage that can be found in formations like dollar or uh, yeah dollar uh, dime uh, or dollar two three six dime one four six dime uh, two three six will um, and then it's also the only coverage that can be found in nickel two four five odd and in nickel three three five odd and nickel triple which are all really good defenses except for the fact that that's the only coverage that they have so they don't have the full capability to do everything that a match coverage um, like a nickel normal defense can allow you to have so uh, anyways we're going to base out of quarters i'm going to explain why we're doing that and then we're going to talk about the coverage for trips okay so why quarters over uh palms well it's really primarily for the this player right here jackson and honestly um with the way that this coverage works i'm going to i'm going to walk you through kind of a couple scenarios with this but basically what you're going to notice is let's just say that this defender we put him into a curl flat zone okay and then we put this guy the linebacker on the right side into a curl flat zone as you can see now the problem is that if i and this is quarters real quick if i were to try to um let's say that i did a flat zone to Evans I did a corner to Godwin and I did a streak to Scotty Miller what you'll notice about how this plays is that this corner route can get open again it's a bang bang play but it can get open but not super open right now, now if I go to palms you're going to see a major major distinction so I'm going to put this corner into a curl flat and I'm going to put the linebacker into a curl flat now what you'll see is that same route combination. And if you watch that square receiver, 
He's covered, but that guy's wide open. You might ask, why is that the case? That's the case because the principle of the coverage is different. Palms and quarters are two different coverages. Palms has a special check when defending trips. What that basically means is the outside defender in cover four palms is playing number one man to man wherever he goes. So if he runs a smoke screen, he's playing him. If he runs a drag across the field, he's playing him. He's always in coverage on the number one receiver. So now that means that this defender, honestly, I think a real short explanation would be that this defender, the quarter flat, and this inside quarter, they are playing as if it was quarters coverage against these two players. So I'll show you what I mean. In quarters coverage, if number two goes to the flat, or uh, yeah, Miller would now turn into number one. So if, if number two goes to the flat, they will double the post. Watch what happens. Number two goes underneath, and look what they do. They double the post, okay? If both go vertical, and I'll show that real quick, in palms coverage, if both of those guys go vertical, because again, they basically cancel the number three, this, this number one. He basically, they're no longer, they're, they're literally, the corner covers him, and now they're playing quarters coverage, essentially, between the quarter flat defender and that, and that uh, inside quarter, which is fine. You just need to understand that, okay? And we're going to come back to that in just a second. But if they both go up and out, so something like this. Watch what the quarter flat does. Quarter flat's taking that guy all the way, and then now your corner route's being matched by that guy. That's a very critical point in the explanation of what we're trying to show. So that is why Palm's coverage is not the best to just simply get that player out of the play, because if you just take him out of the play, if you take that zone out of the play, they can crucify you in, uh, in Palm's, because... The rules dictate that. In quarters, um, which is what I'm in here, in quarters coverage, if I were to run that same concept, that quarter flat has nothing to do with that defender. Now what you're getting is really a, a little bit of a nuance here, but essentially the inside quarter on the back side of the formation is really who's designed to go guard Godwin. And what you'll see here is he breaks this down and we do get the three rec playing him, but that's our user okay now i want to show you one last thing with this and then we'll move to the coverage for troops cover six one of my favorite defenses is basically cover four palms to the left side and i'll show you we're going to do that same thing that i talked about where we simply shade our coverage over top which turns him into a curl flat and what you'll see is that this curl flat won't guard triangle and triangle is going to kill us that no, they're playing quarters coverage over those two in troops okay that's basically how it works which is why you cannot put that quarter flat defender in a purple because he's not in he's not in a curl flat he's not a curl flat defender okay what would be better in palms and something that i was if you want to mess around with this this would be a great thing to do what would be better in, in cover four palms if you want to have a curl flat defender is to not expect this guy to be that player. However, what you might consider doing is dropping Judon into a curl flat over here and then dropping your linebacker into a curl flat on this side. And then lastly, I would put a three wreck on the field. So a bluff blitz and then you use her here. Now, this whole coverage makes a lot more sense. And if you get a concept that basically is this, it's not going to look too bad. You'll see. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay. So that would be a, a, suge a suggestion if you're defending trips. Palm, if you want to use palms to defend trips. If you don't want to use palms to defend trips and you want to use quarters, then you can put the curl flat over there, okay, which is what we're going to teach today. So um, what we're going to do with this, what I like to do against trips tied in, 
is is man align. I love man align against trip side in. Okay, I really like it. Um, we're gonna shift the linebackers to the right, pinch our D line. Now, if we want to send pressure, all we need to do is blitz that guy on the left side. And what you'll see here, if I send five out, you're gonna get pressure. Love that about this defense. Love that about this defense, okay? Which is why I love man line against trip side in because, it, and, and most of the time, what do people do at a trip side in? You might say, well, what do they do? Oh yeah, they, 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 they run PA counter go, right? That's what most people do. Uh, thanks to Mr. Spam and Buttons, one of my favorite people to study in this game. What you'll see here against counter go is it picks up most blitzes. It's play action blocking. There's a lot of reasons as to why. But what you can do with this coverage is you can actually get pressure against that. And the way you would do that is you would blitz that left side guy and you would blitz your linebacker on the right side. And then you're going to stand kind of right in here. This is a six man blitz, but you're going to get pressure as you can see. Okay, that's an easy way to get pressure against against us. So again, simply man align, press, pinch your D line, blitz your linebacker uh, on that right side, shift them to the right, and then you're just standing right here. And all those adjustments, you can actually do them really fast because you're not having to move anybody. And I think that's critical for a defense. Now, from a coverage perspective, how do I like to set this up? I love the man align. Why? This guy right here, in my defense is a one step ahead player. He's a player that can play in man coverage, okay? Against trips tight end, there's no better adjustment than to simply play man to man on that number three. He's gonna take him wherever he goes. He goes on a corner, he's gonna take him. He's gonna, everywhere he goes. And so essentially in the same way that we, in the same way that our palms coverage was playing quarters rules, quote unquote, over the Number uh, number ten and number fourteen. Now, in an, in, in essence, we're going to play quarters, quote unquote, rules over thirteen and ten. Okay, and then on the back side, because we have we and again we've turned this into quarters, right? Now, what we can do is we've got a curl flat. We've got a uh, we've got a curl flat to that linebacker. We have a curl flat to the other linebacker right there. Our users on a blitz, and then what I would recommend is to go ahead and drop the, the defensive end on the right side of the screen into a three rec. If you want to rush three, that's fine. If you don't want to rush three, then I you, you want to take this backside guy and just put him in a vert hook. And now you've got pretty safe underneath coverage. And what's your responsibility? Your responsibility is to help over the top. Okay, to help over the top. So let's say that they go with one of these concepts, which is in my opinion an incredible uh, incredible passing concept this year. You see this. You know you have good man coverage. You don't have to care about the slant, right? But look at that. Look who's open. Tight end's wide open. Okay, why is the tight end open? I have no idea, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, and this is one scenario where palms could be a better answer. But by and large, you know, the tight end's basically open because... This stupid guy doesn't do what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to be locked up on the tight end. Let me show it to you. You'll probably see that if we run this a couple of times, he will cover him some, and he will not cover him some. Um, so, you know, again, and, and, and which, from the curl flat perspective, for just one more second, um, from the curl flat perspective, one other thing you can do is you could drop Judon um in coverage and then you could take this slot and you can man him up on whoever you want if you want to do that um or you could leave i think the quarter flat's actually a fair a decent adjustment out of or a decent zone out of trips to the trip side um, because he's going to jam him but you could again i mean it's up to you you these guys are kind of whatever zone you want to have so if you if you want um the purple not a bad adjustment um if you don't Whatever. I mean, it, you, you, you you can kind of tweak them is what I'm getting at. Um, the big Because, again, the big thing in trips tight end, they're trying to hit. They're trying to hit this guy or they're trying to hit this guy, the tight end. Okay? So, anyways, that's that's that. Let me show you this, this slant post. Again, this 
the the outside safety should go with him. Obviously, you can use him um, because you don't have any other responsibility. But let me just show you. See him stay. But look at that. That throw is not really there for him. Now, another thing that you could do um, that's actually really advantageous, too, for trips is this adjustment. So you could kind of bluff them because, again, we're – you, my opinion is you don't you, you want to come into your man alignment so like you want to man align at the line of scrimmage I think that's helpful so another thing that you could do with this is you could do um, this adjustment which is where we basically come out man align and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a three rec on the left side of the screen to that defensive end now we're going to get a plus one advantage on the right side so we're going to drop this defensive end into a curl flat. And now this guy, we can put in man coverage on anyone we want on the field. In this example, we're going to show it with the tight end. So you see a coverage like this, pretty decent. Now you got the tight end a little bit better contained. And I'll show. And then you also have a good zone for the slant. And you see how good the, the post is. I mean, it still gets open, but that's just an idea. And then the last thing that I want, or I have two other scenarios that I want to show you out of this defense and that is to man up the tight end with the the cornerback that you're going to man align with and then man align and what you'll see is he's now going to be in man coverage on that guy and then what you should see defensively is basically the exact um, the exact deal whoops boom boom like this there's your setup and then what the concept looks like this. And you see that he'll kind of bait that tight end. And a lot of times they'll just throw it right to you. Okay. So that's 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 like if you if if they're just spamming this concept, that's what you might want to do. Okay. And then the last coverage that I have, um, or the last the last coverage concept I have is to basically just flip the lineman. So what we'll do is we're going to um, you know call our coverage. And then we're going to shade over top so that those purples come out. Then after you shade over top, you man up to number three so that he actually gets a jam. And then you're going to vert hook the D end on the right. And you're going to three wreck the D end on the left. And what you should see is that three wreck should um, have a chance to go guard that tight end. Make sure you pass commit. And what you'll see here, he goes right to the tight end. He doesn't go all the way, unfortunately, but he does kind of help a little bit with the coverage. Um, you know, so those are a bunch of different scenarios that you could use to defend this formation. Why Palms is a little bit better. I'll show that real quick uh, for the tight end in particularly. So Palms is a little bit better because when you man this guy up here, I don't have to do any of the, of the, of the other adjustments right off the bat here, but watch the tight end real quick. Let me pass commit. You'll see that that safety locks up and man and you see that right there see how he follows and tracks him the whole way across the formation that could be a scenario where palms could be better but again you have to understand if i'm in palms what i'm getting into on that left side so um if you were in if you were in 335 wide for example and you were running this defense um, i love to man align out of 335 wide i can't express that enough but if you run 335 wide cover four show two and you're in a, and you're in this right here, um, you know. Again, I typically you you now have the the ability to take this guy and man him up on the tight end, which is very helpful. I would, in general, um, you know, because they, they don't use their running back much out of this formation. You might consider, um, you know, manning that guy up on the tight end, dropping the three rec over here, because most times if you're playing a trips tight end player this year. Chances are they're running a lot of PA counter go and they're not using the running back. But anyways, here's the coverage. You see the man, cross man, has a little better leverage, but it's still not perfect. And that's why I say the palms coverage can really hang with that. Um, but at the end of the day, you can cover that as well because you have such good coverage on everything else. I mean, no, no, you name the concept, they're not going to be able to just kill you with this. You've got great, and I mean great coverage on that number three. If you've got a good corner right there, that's a really good player to put in that position. Um, let me show you one other little pro tip while I'm thinking about it, and that is to call, you can call any other coverage. I'm going to show it out of cover two, but this is a man-aligned concept that you can do against trips tight end. 
And basically what you're going to do here um, is you're going to man align and you shift like this and then you have this guy here. Um, so it looks like this, right? This corner here, um, what I would recommend doing with him is putting him into some kind of zone. It doesn't, whatever it might be. Whatever zone you want, put him in the zone. So in this scenario, we're going to put him in a, a uh, you know, a vert hook. Then what I would recommend is man up these guys. So you're going to play man with this guy, and you're going to play man with that guy. And then lastly, which so you see I've got my vert hook here. If you don't want a vert hook, you know, you could do the thing that I just showed you with the tight end. Um, you see here that this guy, I can actually man him up in the tight end when I run this defense. So you could do that. That's fine. But the key adjustment is to take this defender or this defender and put them in an inside quarter. And what you're going to see is this is a great adjustment for trips tight end. And then now, you know, you can kind of, you can play some, you, you, what I would recommend is inside quarter, this guy here inside third, this guy. So your post is helped, helped out on. And then now they basically have to beat you with the running back there. The tight end is cross man. He's going to struggle to get open on that post. Um, and then you, you know, you have, you can have some underneath zones, but what you'll notice is if they try to go with the crosser setup from counter go, this, this inside quarter will just absolutely bag that, that crosser, as you can see. And I talked about this earlier in the year. So I want you to kind of keep that in mind as well, but this is a great little couple of form concepts and defensive tips. Uh, for defending this formation out of nickel normal nickel normal is super underrated this year um, I think it's every bit as good as 335 wide and probably better in some ways because 335 wide can't get this kind of pressure um, If I was defending You know something like this and they're running counter go I can just blitz them and you see that 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 can make it very difficult. Okay um, Another thing you could do if you wanted to out of this quarters defense um, is a base align look or I mean even just a whatever we were look you can just be in this that's fine problem is is if they motion the running back over you're screwed because you can't check in a man so that's why I like to just sit like this if you want to sit like this the problem is you don't you don't need the numbers advantage that you gain by having this coverage what you need is the numbers over on this other side so that you can because that's where their dominant passing window is and again most trips tight end players don't throw the ball to their running back. They throw the ball to the number three receiver and the tight end and the number one receiver. So those are your primary people that you need to guard. And I feel like this defense does a great job of doing that. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to get um, my eBooks, join our Patreon membership. Um, that's where you can get all the defenses. We literally did um, a massive amount of content on match coverage this year. So if you want to really understand how it works, um, there's a ton of stuff in there that will teach that. And then we also did a, a ton of eBooks. We got 20 offensive and defensive eBooks in there, as well as updates to them that we've done throughout this season. So if you want to get access to that, the cool part about the membership, anytime we release a new update, which is pretty much every week, or anytime we release a new eBook, um, you're going to get it by being a member. So $10 a month unlocks everything over there. If you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. So if you're interested, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you to go check out the membership.